Hi there, it's Crea, your pod explorer. Today, we'll be looking at some of the most essential but least discussed aspects for 3D modeling. How to optimize your models. When making anything for a 3D engine, like on Cyber, there's one golden rule that you should always keep in mind, and that is, less is more. But what does that mean, and how can we apply this to 3D modeling? Well, take a look at these two cubes. Both objects appear to be the same, but they're not. By using edit mode, we'll find a significant difference in geometry. These subdivisions are increasing our model's file size without providing any additional aesthetic value. So let's optimize it. Of course, the subdivide tool, which you can access by going to edit mode and right-clicking your model, can be a very useful tool if you want to, for example, extrude new faces. But what if you notice that your model has an excessive number of subdivisions? Well, the first tool you can use is unsubdivide, which, as you can already tell, simply does the opposite of subdivide, and it reduces the number of polygons to your model. We can also experiment with tools like Limited Dissolve and Decimate Geometry. When applied, Blender will attempt to clean any excess vertices you don't need. Trial and error is your friend here, and ensure your object isn't breaking any other viewport modes. Another important tip to optimize your models is to lower the image size or resolution of your image textures, if necessary. But these topics will be covered in more detail in upcoming videos. And you're done! Your object's geometry has now been optimized. By combining lower resolution image textures and more efficient meshes, you can reduce the file size of your model and achieve more optimized 3D models, which makes everything run more smoothly and therefore improves user experience.